Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do a lesson 2.6 solve problems using data and our essential question is how can you solve problems using data represented in bar graphs so we'll use the bar graph to solve some problems so let's unlock the problem answering questions about data helps you better understand the information so let's read this problem Drake's class voted on a topic for the school plotting board the bar graph shows the results how many more votes did computers receive than space okay so here we are comparing the computer votes to the space votes okay so if you remember guys how many more or how many fewer we said it's usually subtraction so here he asks how do you know you need to subtract so here we are comparing so when we compare it means we should find the difference which is subtraction so we can say we are comparing computer votes to space votes okay so here this is the table it has books health computers and space and we are just comparing the computers and space it can be at this graph okay so here is one way we can count back along the scale to find the difference between the bars so here is the computers it's at 10 so we can go backwards by twos as the scale is by twos so we can go backwards two four six and the space is here so we need just one more it's between two and four so here it's two four six seven so we can say that the difference is seven votes okay another way as we said we can subtract so the computers are 10 minus the space here between two and and four they are three so we can subtract 10 minus 3 which is equal to 7 so computers received 7 more votes than space okay another example Brooks school collected cans of food the bar graph at the right shows the number of cans how many fewer cans were collected on Tuesday then on thursday and friday combined if you remember guys combined means together means we have to add them okay so how many fewer or how many more we said we will subtract we are comparing so let's see how many on tuesday and how many on thursday and friday together so step number one find the total for Thursday and Friday so for Thursday and Friday Thursday is 24 plus Friday is here is between 24 and 28 so in the middle between 24 and 28 it's a 26 okay so 24 plus 26 is 50 now step number two we will subtract so we'll subtract to compare the total for Thursday and Friday to Tuesday and to find the difference so on Tuesday it's here in the middle between 12 and 16 which is 14 so we will do 50 minus 14 okay so 0 minus 4 it can't be so we borrow from the 5 the 5 will be 4 and the 0 will be 10 so now 10 minus 4 is 6 and 4 minus 1 is 3 
So it's a 36 fewer cans were collected on Tuesday than on Thursday and Friday combined. Okay, so again what we did here, we are comparing what is on Tuesday to what is on Thursday and Friday together. Okay, so first we see how many on in in Thursday and Friday. So we added 24 plus 26, which is 50. So now we are comparing the 50 to what is on Tuesday, which is 14. So 50 minus 14 equals 36. So 36 fewer cans were collected on Tuesday than on Thursday and Friday combined. Here he says, what if four fewer cans were collected on Monday? Monday is not in the table or the graph here. So what if four fewer cans were collected on Monday than on Tuesday? How many cans were collected on Monday? Explain. So on Tuesday, it is 14. So four fewer, it will be 10 cans. We did 14 minus 4 which is 10 so we can say it's 10 cans and how we can say it's 14 that is for Tuesday minus 4 equals 10 okay now for share and show use the spinner results bar graph for 1 2 3 so number one how many more times did the pointer stop on green than on purple okay so we said how many more will subtract let's see how many on green and how many on purple okay so the green is here it's in the middle between 30 and 40 so it's 35 and the purple is just right here at the 20 so 35 minus 20 equals 5 minus 0 is 5 and 3 minus 2 is 1 so it's 15 more times okay number two how many fewer okay how many fewer times we'll subtract did the pointer stop on blue then on red and green combined so we need to see how many on red and green combined or together and how many on blue. Okay, so red and green. The red is 40. Let's write here red and green. 40 plus the green we said it, it's 35. So 40 plus 35 it's 75 okay so this is the red and green okay we'll subtract the 75 minus the blue so the blue is 20 so we'll do 75 minus 20 which is equal to 5 minus 0 is 5 7 minus 2 is 5 so 55 fewer times okay number three what if there were 15 more spins and the pointer stopped 10 more times on green and five more times on blue. How many more times did the pointer stop on green than blue? So how many more will subtract? But now the numbers change it. So the green has 10 more spins and the blue has five more. So the green the green is actually 35 so if we give it 10 more it will be 45 it will go to 45 okay and the blue if we give it 5 more it will be it's a 20 so it will be 25 okay so now let's subtract the new numbers okay as he said how many more we are subtracting so the green is 45 minus the blue now is 25 so 45 minus 25 5 minus 5 is 0 
and for minus 2 is 2 so it's 20 more times okay guys hope you understand this lesson well have a nice day and goodbye